the track. Uh, my project is called This Rule Made Itself. Um, can you turn down the audio? Thank you. So I have seven minutes of video, so um, that was the intro, and I'm going to talk over the rest that seems to be playing behind me. Um, I create live performances with projected animations. I'm an animator, actually, by training, um, that I step into and interact with as a shadow silhouette, as an integrated part of the fantastic worlds that I create. Um, most of the documentation you see right now is in my living room, except for this part, which is at the Explotorium um, in April. Um, okay. Um, the the making the process of making the work is a very integrated process and very personal in my everyday life because I work on it basically every day, um, full time. Um, animation and performance happens simultaneously um, in the process. Inspiration for the piece comes both from my visual imagination of the worlds I want to create and see, and also inspiration through like the physical exploration with my body as I put myself behind the screen and find out what kinds of shadows and what kind of cinematic moments and theatrical moments I can make with it. Um, so animation informs the body and the body informs the animation. Um, and the process of making my work is very much about tinkering, discovering, problem solving, and solving puzzles um, as I create these visual kind of illusions. Um, with the combination of animation and performance, I am playing with illusion and realness, the two-dimensional world of cinematic space of my body collapsed and com uh, composited into the image of the screen versus the 3D world of theatrical presence of the body, the, con the construction of the illusions on stage, um, the visceralness of my movements versus the pre-made animation, laws of physics versus the laws of fan the fantastical, uh, moments of uncanny harmony between the body and media versus moments of slippage and struggle, and um, playing with the language of cinema and theater. I also mix in just a bit of sleight of hand to make things a little bit confusing for the audience. This rule made itself as a dream journey through the history of the Earth, um, from the Big Bang formation of the Earth through geological time to the current complex world of humans as we live in now. And our dissonance with the human dissonance with history, our place in the universe, and with each other. Um, the piece is somewhat scientific, like looking at pictures in the Children's Encyclopedia or Natural History Museum display, but at the same time very surreal, metaphorical, abstract, and dreamlike. I don't consider my body in this piece to be a character, but rather a, sort of a ghostly embodiment of the worlds that you're seeing, um, feeling its own self and kind of discovering itself and being an observer and a witness as I awaken in the molten surface of the still forming earth, dip my hand into the ocean or take my first steps onto land. Um, and the performance is very con uh, kind of based on like sort of intuitive feelings of what does it feel like to become, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> um, what does it feel like to become conscious as a planet? What does it feel like to be mind of your resources? What does it feel like to be covered in green plants? Um, since the, my work is cross-disciplinary, I've been very lucky to share my work at film and animation festivals, performance and theater festivals, museums and galleries, academic settings like tech and new media conferences, science museums, a women's festival, universities and schools. Um, I've actually done like some corporate events as entertainment because it's kind of well packaged as like an entertaining piece. Um, okay, and then um, also a three-year-old's birthday party. Um, I'm always interested in new venues, new types of venues, and new audiences. Um, my ask is I would love to do this piece more in science kind of settings, um, like natural history museums and science museums. And my hope with the piece is that um, I believe that imagination is the spark that ignites curiosity and passion for the science. And I would want this piece to kind of ignite something, especially in children. Um, I would like to kind of pass on the sense that tinkering, exploration, discovery, and inventiveness, kind of like a science lab process, is part of the process of art making. And also to, through this piece, have a, instill a sense of tenderness and visceral empathy toward the world that we live in. Oh, and I have a little bit more time. I'm doing a preview of this piece in LA in September. Um, in, kind of at the same time as Radar LA. So if anyone's in Los Angeles, please let me know. And um, the deadline that I have for myself is October 31st, where I'm showing this piece at the Wexner Center in Columbus, Ohio. And I also have a few dates right after that in Cincinnati, Boulder, and then in Chile, um, hopefully multiple cities. And it'll be tour ready in July or January of 2014. And um, my, my work is really compact and tourable. It's just me and three travel cases, so I've been told I'm really easy by presenters and tech directors. 
And um, I'm pretty flexible with like the, the kind of space um, as long as it fits my requirements. And I could do intimate shows and also large, larger audience shows. And I would tour this with my um, previous piece from 2010, Myth and Infrastructure, to have like an evening length show. And, okay, thanks.